Good morning guys, so I'm heading towards Tomo no Ura today and I really think that you guys will like this place if you like the Studio Ghibli movie Ponyo. So the bus to Tomo no Ura is once an hour and I didn't want to wait for another hour so I just went to 7-Eleven to get my breakfast, got a tea and a couple of onigiris to go on the trip. I really like the view heading towards there because it's just so peaceful. And we finally arrived. This is the map to the entire place. When I first arrived at the island, I checked out the store first and I really liked being in there because everything was just so traditional. It just felt like I was transported into the Ponyo movie. As I was exploring around the island, this particular store caught my eye. The lady here is like a really really nice boss and look at that, hello little Ponyo! Hmm? She sells like dried fish and stuff and I bought a couple of stuff from her and put it into my food. It tasted really nice. I really like this scene, I think it's one of the most magical scenes I've seen. There was a cafe next to this place as well and I decided to have lunch there because why not? So I had a three course, started off with some Japanese salad, yum yum yum, and then I had some ratatouille I think? Or was it lasagna? I can't remember now. And finished off with some ice cream. This building was where Miyazaki Hayao stayed when he was doing his Ponyo film and this was where the inspiration for the scenery of this film came from. I spy another ponyo! It was a rainy and wet day to be honest, so exploring wasn't ideal. So this is my umbrella that I bought. <laughs> it's massive! <laughs> I was trying not to get wet. Um, yeah, so this is the result of it. It's a massive umbrella. <laughs> so this island is famous for their Honmei Shu. It's kind of like a medical alcohol where you take before you drink on a crazy night. To prevent yourself from getting like hangovers or feeling sick. These are the ingredients that the alcohol is made from and according to this it has 350 years of history. Decided to further explore the island. It was actually really cold that day but it was a very peaceful walk, so I actually really enjoyed it. Historically, this used to be a busy, prosperous area and served as a rest stop for dignitaries and Korean ambassadors who came to relax and dine on the shore while waiting out strong winds and storms in the sea. I stumbled upon this shrine as well, and every time I see one, I just tend to go up and do a little prayer even though I was just wearing like flats. When I was exploring the island and I was asking the locals where to go, they all pointed to the same direction, which is to this place. It's a fish cake factory where they produce beautiful fish cakes. I tried them and I really enjoy the fish cakes here. They're so fresh. They come in all sorts of forms and shapes and sizes and oh my god, it'll blow your mind when you try one. I decided to make one myself, so I enrolled myself into a Chikuwa making course. And the people here are so friendly. This lady here, she definitely makes better Chikuwa than mine, but <laughs> I was trying my best as well. Chikuwa is a fish cake shaped into sticks or tubes that are long and hollow inside. And mine has a bamboo in the middle if I'm not mistaken. It took me a while to make my fish cake but I finally made it and they decided to help me grill which was so nice of the lady. As I was waiting for my fish cake to be ready I was just exploring upstairs and they do have a really lovely area for you to relax and eat your fish cakes if you like. My OOTD for today guys needed a jacket I swear 
So the Chikua has finally been made. Look at how beautiful the colors are. Oh my god. And the best part is when you bite it. So this is the fish cake that I made, guys. So pretty, so fat and juicy. Look at that. Whoa. Mmm. Mmm. This is so freaking good. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. I'm amazing myself. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> took the bus back after a days of exploring and decided to do some shopping. So I got a tomato furikake, it's a tomato seasoning where you put on rice, a momiji like cake, and also hasaku piru, it's like a citrus peel where you just eat as a snack, dried ebi, dried shrooms, um, dried, what do you call these? Octopus? No, squid, sorry. And also like a little cat keychain to put on my camera and also some postcards of the place where they like draw an art form of it, which is very cute. I also got myself a bottle of the homemade shoe because I drink a lot of alcohol and it's best to drink this before I drink in order to prevent my liver from getting sick, I guess. And also got some hair colors headband, um, toothbrush, oh my god I love these toothbrush, they're like the best, and also some breath mints but the Japanese form, this one is to cut my eyebrows when the hair grows too long, and also some ear pickers, I love these, and I think these are just tweezers. So this is what I took away from the shop, these are the fish cakes here for me to try and also some cutilage, yums! That's all for now guys, bye!